Nicolas going into Final Combat really is the one to watch purely based on the recent success. Winning that combo breaker was such a motivator, no doubt about it. I feel it is quite, quite a telling situation of the current game though with in terms of you know the players who's the most successful who's the strongest as we are here still in winner's side where we had players like sonic fox ninja killer nicolas like these these are names who have been so dominant throughout the years in mk obviously fox going back to quite a few games before ninja really bursting onto the scene with mkx and nicolas and scorpion prox together by the MK11 days. It's, it's like every time we see a main line entry into MK comes this new wave of talented players who sometimes come out of nowhere and sometimes they really grind their way to the top with just results here and results there getting better. Makes you look like a silver tissue superhero. Thank you. All right. Previously was Combo Breaker, now it is Final Combat, the one that matters most. Who is going to be joining Sonic Fox in the winner's finals? Ninja Killer, Nicolas, head to head, and starting off strong with a little bit of extra damage there for Ninja Killer. And no doubt, the torpedoes. We're going to see a lot more of that. We've seen how this matchup has broken down time after time. It is a game of positioning. We know Peacemaker really thrives that kind of jump distance and beyond. Makes up options at point blank for sure, but Johnny, Johnny's so good with the staggers, the constant pressure, the chip, the frame advantage. And Peacemaker, whilst has amazing buttons, doesn't have the best buttons at getting Johnny Cage away from him. And that's how the matchup has really continued to develop. We've seen it many times already this weekend. That was going to be a really hard comeback for Nicolas to make in that situation. I mean, you've basically got 1% left. There's no last breath. You're dealing with Peacemaker with meter for Torpedo. I mean, you would have had to pray on a miracle for that. That's combo break Kano for you. Take anti-gravity and make it even scarier. Did you kill it with that low poke? So much plus frames. Those low pokes into Eagly, such a dangerous range tool, right? Create some space. That kind of stabilizes things for you a little bit. There's the hit confirm off forward three, though. Nicolas, good damage. A lot of resources, the chameleon's fully ready to go now. But still, the plus frames from Kano and then low pokes into pushback. Oh no, the wrong disguise. Normally we see that rising star into Katana lift, but just went to Molina mode at the worst possible time. And Ninja Killer taking full advantage with a punish and a half. The punish not only doing damage to Johnny Cage, but hitting Chameleon right in the face, which means that she is unavailable to give you a combo breaker. And that is going to be first game for Ninja Killer. That was like the lowest amount of health I've ever seen someone survive a fatal blow in this game. That was like less than a percent. It's like almost magic pixel even. But a game happening. You were saying before, this is kind of how things went. A combo breaker of memory serves. A dominant start for Ninja. And Nicholas having to really play, keep up with it. We'll be seeing shades of it again here, I wonder. Quite fitting that we're on the Shang Tsung lab. And that's exactly what the real stage here at Final Combat is set like. You went down to the drawings in the back. I didn't even realize that. That's sick. Yeah, that is godlike. There's that mid. Hit confirm. And we will get some decent damage. Going in for the uh, the glaive. And so going in for the glow there in that situation feels a bit weird, right? But mostly to deal with on wake up anything into Kana. Because if you go for the glow, oh my good lord, that was a wonderful answer. Unfortunately, didn't quite get the damage we were looking for. And Ninja Killer is going to turn that into a full combo into more plus frames. Well, who cares? That's just going to be chip damage. Sweet. You can see that that's that magic range that Johnny Cage is only ever like a forward dash and a button away from closing things out. That at the same time, if Ninja calls that out with a preemptive 2-2 or something to catch it, it'll be full combo. So. It's that perfect sweet spot that Nicholas wants to be at, but can't always make the most out of it. A little bit of extra damage. Take the nut punch just for the knockdown frames and give us a safe jump. Wow. With that single button, we go straight into a low poke. That jumping into even more of this. The dash in. Ninja Killer Brave there. The back dash into jump, trying to stay a lot more safe. And there's a hit confirm. Keeps it simple, though. Just equally. Now with that combo breaker, it's going to have to be just Kano and it's oh, right! Catch. I mean, without any meter, that was a pretty risky option to go for, even with Kano on the back end. But it was so smart! You have to remember, it's, it's a full payout in the corner, because you can combo off that eagerly. 
That 2-2 mix-up between the grab and anything else so scary, but in the corner, even more so. Now, here's the issue. Only one bar of meter, Ooh, that's a round. Punish. That's the round, and Nicolas, optimal. No need to use the fatal blow. Keep it nice and guaranteed still. That was such a clean it. whiff punish, though, with that knee. Nicolas paying attention. Because normally you see Peacemaker throw out the, those pokes because they're, they're pretty disjointed. You know, he shoots the ground. You can't whiff punish a bullet. You have to be close enough to hit him. And because it does go quite far away, it's a very attractive option. Now, Nicolas did not commit to the launcher there because I think he thought Ninja Killer had committed to that string and gone so far away he wouldn't reach. Turns out he did, but it is what it is now. The respect. Yeah, no torpedo attempt from Ninja either. And a big reason for that is that at this level, you're constantly looking at what your opponent's chameleon disguise is. If you see Katana, you cannot press after a low poke. You know something's coming. Jade Glaive. Oh, that could have been at least a breaker. Oh, shoot! Shoot him in his feet! These shoes are expensive, man! Come on! Eagle. Oh, that what trade. A trade. Every time that kind of trade happens, it's going to be so good for Ninja. As we're approaching chip territory, yep. Last breath starting to kick in. That's one bar. That's two. Can Nicholas find the hit? There's no break for Ninja. But can I take anything? Okay, hang on. Oh, never mind. Able to hit that shadow kick before Eagly came out, but... That's the downside when you find yourself with such little health left. Even a down one, that small low poke is going to do it. And a 2-0 lead already for Ninja Killer. Looking like we might have winner's finals as a repeat matchup to grand finals last final combat in 2019. I was just thinking, was this even the same winner's finals then as well? It's been a while. It has been a hot minute. But either way, we still have this set to get through. It's just looking better and better for Ninja Killer at the moment. Dash in mid and Nicolas showing a lot of respect to it. He's low post with punish. Yep. yep. That's going to be an easy catch nice. for Ninja. Eagle. Decent damage and again that life lead. So gargantuan to deal with for Nicolas. And we see he's always just gliding across the screen. Is Nicolas such great movement with these wave dashes, but it's not achieving enough. Again, the delay there. Oh, oh the reactions. reactions. Haven't seen that in a while. Seven Torpedo nine. out of nowhere. And Round suddenly, two. match point, Ninja. Fight. We are trading it back and forth there on the old flawless blocks, but Nicolas finds the mid. Now, a good little benefit here. Has been able to get the breaker out. That's a really weird trade. All four characters on the screen. Flawless block with punish again. This one's meterless. Ninja Killer finds the confirm that forward four. Eagly. Two, two, eagerly. This one won't be a full combo. Nicolas has meter. Uh -oh. Called out the grab, and it was the wrong choice to make. Nicolas is in trouble. There is a fatal blow, but are we even going to find an avenue to get it now? It's just been this brick wall defense from Ninja all set long. There's no openings to find. He's not given any. Torpedo. Anything on block here you don't want. You do not have enough health to really risk it. Oh no, we got rid of the glow just by shooting him in his feet again. And it could be the last dance in the winners. Dash in, fatal blow. Oh yeah, not he having knew, the he eagly. Knew. Not having the eagly helped him so much there because there was no parry, even if there was a chance of a parry. It wasn't meant to be. Ninja Killer defeats Nicolas 3-0 and that gives us